I cannot believe how long it took me to try this. We're currently on our way to McDonald's to try the famous Chick-fil-A sandwich. <laughs> Filet of fish. I'm tired, man. <laughs> we are currently on the way to McDonald's to get the famous filet of fish sandwich. I can't believe I've never had one before. I heard a lot of good things about filet of fish. And it's been on the menu for so long, so clearly they know what they're doing. <laughs> We're at McDonald's. This is my first filet of fish ever. It's pretty good. A beast. He said it's pretty good. $5 for a filet of fish is actually wild. Isn't it McChicken like $1? No. And it's like $2.50 now. No way. Yeah. Two fifty. I make chicken is two fifty now. Damn. Inflation, bro. I think I can make four filet of fish sandwiches for ten bucks. Ten, twelve bucks. Hello. Thank you so much. We have secured the bag. All right. Well, back in the studio, and it's time to officially give this a try. And as always, I'm just gonna. That's actually pretty good. I am pleasantly surprised. The fish itself is pretty flaky. It doesn't feel like it's grinded up like fish sticks. It has some decent flavor. I wish there was something spicy, but overall, it's actually not bad at all. For what it is, it's not bad, but there's definitely improvements we can make. Let's make this bad boy at home. And typically, fish retain a lot of moisture, especially if they were previously frozen. And our job right now is to take as much moisture out before we fry. McDonald's uses a cod filet, so what we're gonna do is pat them dry with a paper towel and just line them up on a wire rack. At this time, I'm gonna grab a very light amount of salt and just sprinkle it on. We're gonna let the salt sit on these for about 15 minutes. The whole point of this recipe is to make it easy and attainable for you to make at home. I'm not gonna complicate this. I'm just gonna make it really damn good. In a bowl, we're gonna go in with some self-rising flour, following that up with about 25% of that amount in potato starch. We're gonna go in with a little baking powder. Don't overdo it. Gordon Ramsay always puts curry powder in his fish and chips, and I tried it once, and it's phenomenal. Just a little bit goes a long way. So to that, I'm gonna add a little bit of my favorite curry powder. All-purpose seasoning from Cosmo is called Dirty Bird. It's just a mix of seasonings. It has a lot of salt in it. So I'm gonna very simply add that to our dry batter. I'm gonna give this a quick little mix with our hand. And I like to say if the color of the flour don't change, no flavor was gained. Obviously it's not gonna change that much. It's still white powder, but you get the point. You wanna see those little specks of seasoning. It's been about 10 minutes. Now you can see the codfish is kind of sweating. I'm just gonna pat it dry one more time. Again, we're just trying to make that cod filet as dry as possible. To pair with our filet fish, we must make a tartar sauce is gonna be quick and easy. In a bowl, I'm gonna start with a little bit of mayo. I'm gonna give this a light zest of lemon. Slice that lemon in half. Cupping the flesh side, I'm just gonna squeeze the rest of it. Then I'm just gonna grab a couple of capers, put them on my cutting board just like this. Just a quick rough chop. Then I'm gonna do a pinch of fresh cracked black pepper. Light kiss of salt. I'm gonna go in with some fresh cilantro. Just gonna give this a quick mix and now we have a beautiful, easy tartar sauce. To make our batter, we're gonna be using a club soda. Oh boy, I was dancing in the car, huh? Damn it, bro. I'm gonna crack it open and I'm gonna start slowly pouring into our dry batter. Now, as we start adding in our club soda, I'm gonna start whisking. The perfect batter is slightly thinner than some pancake mix, but a little bit thicker than some heavy cream. And if you find it to be too loose, add a little bit more flour. And if it's too thick, add a little bit more club soda. That simple. To fry, I like to use olive or avocado oil. Now that might be very expensive. So I like to use this light olive oil. It's a little bit cheaper in price. And I believe it is slightly better than you. Slightly better for you, not better than you. <laughs> if you are currently enjoying this video, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe, and turn on the bell notification. It really helps me out. Back to business. To start frying, which I'm very excited about, I'm gonna take my cod filet and drop it in some regular plain flour and just lightly cover it, make a tiny little layer. Fish goes into the wet batter, give it a nice little toss and turn. Make sure you drip off all the excess batter, and I'm gonna drop it right into the fryer. Let me tell you what the fry hard fish people do. Spring a little batter on it just to get nice and a little crispy. As this fries, I like to maintain at least 350 degrees. I'm gonna pull my fish straight out the fryer and lay it right on a wire rack. Then instantly I'm gonna hit it with some flaky salt. This is cheating, bro. <laughs> no shallow. Toast your brioche bun. It is time to assemble our filet of fish. Toasted brioche bun, slice of American cheese, massive piece of fish. And last but not least, we must add our tartar sauce. And now this is a filet of fish on roids. Look how good that looks. And as always, now, bismillah. Oh my god. 